Hello everybody, girls regions titles on the line in high school hoops. Let's get right to the action right here. We're going to start over in 4A with the region one matchup between Bearden and Farragut. This is a rematch of the district title game. Lady Bulldogs already up by double digits. Jennifer Sullivan slices through the defense, makes the layup, gets Bearden up by 21. Emily Gonzalez knocks down a corner three later on to extend the lead right there. She's going to make it. And then Sullivan hesitates, then hits a three. She finished with 15 points and the Bulldogs win in a blowout 56 to 27 and 4A region one Sevier County and Science Hill played at the for the title at Jefferson County uh, High School. Uh, the game was tied at 13 second quarter. Smoky Bears then went on a 12 0 run. Kinley Loveday caps it off with the layup right there. The Hilltoppers would fight back in this game though. Kajane Marion scores with 37.5 seconds to go to make this a three point game. Science Hill down 41 to 38. They got the ball back and they had a chance down three but Sevier County's defense just came up big at the end of this game got a couple stops hit their free throws and they went on to win the title 43 to 38 Northview and Seymour fans hype for the region title at Halls High School first score of the game comes on a reverse layup from Bailey McCoy Seymour would go up two to zero then Jaden Cummings later on hits a long three Seymour leads five zero Lenny Torres right here the pass behind the back to find her teammate uh, Josie Horner for the layup the Lady Cougars would get on the board right there and then Seymour would be too much though in this game. McCoy would strike again. She knocks down a long two and they go on to win 50 to 29. In region one two way Alcoa traveled to Gatlinburg Pittman. This was a, uh, a rematch of the district title game. Highlanders won uh, five minutes left to play. Kaylee Yates pushes in transition. She finds Mandy Newman in the paint. Hook shot is good. That gives GP a 39 to 37 lead. A few possessions later Alcoa's Carly Hayworth gets it fakes it and then makes it. That put Alcoa down two and on their next possession, Amelia Pfeiffer would hit two free throws to tie this game up. Out of the timeout though, GP executes. Shiloh Whaley finds Mandy Newman for the high low and that would put GP up and they'd go on to win 47 to 45. If you want more scores in the sectional matchups, we're going to have that on WBIR.com soon. On to